Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Camp Kennan. Today we're going to do something a little bit different than previous episodes. I'm actually going to answer the five most popular questions that we get on the Camp Kennan channel videos. So stick around because on the other side of the intro, I'm going to answer your questions. A good portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Kennan. The first question we get all the time here at Camp Kennan is, why does my tortoise sleep all the time? Well, there's a couple of reasons why tortoises sleep. Some reasons are good, they're part of the animal's behavior. Some, however, could be because the animal's sick. Let's start with normal behavior and what to look for. Right now we're outside, it is extremely hot. Tortoises, most of the time, are crepuscular. Now crepuscular means that animals are active at dawn and dusk, and that's because the temperatures are cooler for them to move around, because we know that their reptiles and their body temperature is the same as their surroundings, so they have to do behavioral things to kind of make their bodies feel good. Now one is get out of the sun when they're too hot. That's what these radiated tortoises are doing right now. They're in a nice shady tree, they're cooling down. Another reason tortoises sleep or hide all the time is because they'll burrow down into your substrate that you may have for them and that's because they're looking for something called a microclimate. That means that if it's very dry at the surface, if they dig down a little bit into the soil, it's actually more humid and it feels better for them. They feels good on their skin. It's like going to the spa. So what you need to do is see if this is normal behavior. One thing I recommend is give a light misting in your terrarium or enclosure and that sometimes stimulates the tortoises to wake up because they know after a rain it's cooler, more humid, it's a good time to move around. Even if they're a desert species. Remember, Desert species encounter rain from time to time also. They'll come out whenever the temps drop. So that's one reason. Check and see if it's behavioral or if you notice your tortoise never comes out or is always basking or always hiding, never doing anything else in between, then I would be concerned and I want to make sure that the animal was healthy. And I would uh, recommend you take it to a herp qualified vet or someone that knows about reptiles that you can have them look at it and make sure there's no pathogens or viruses or anything that might be making the animal sick and thus keeping it lethargic. But for the most part, your tortoise is gonna sleep a lot. And another thing, guys, before I go on this question, make sure that if you have baby tortoises, they sleep a lot. Babies sleep a lot. They also hide a lot because they're afraid of becoming food. So watch out for that as well. Let's get on to the next location and the next question. Well, the next question we get is kind of related to the first, and that has to do with the animal's behavior. Why is my animal not eating? Now, there's a lot of reasons why it's not eating or drinking, and there are a few that could be problematic. First things first, if you just got a baby tortoise or a new tortoise, it may still just be getting used to its new habitat, and that happens. Now, believe it or not, tortoises have extremely long digestive tracts, and they can keep food in there so long that they can extract a lot of nutrients from very low nutrient-rich food so they don't need to eat every single day. So if you got a tortoise on a Monday and it didn't eat for a full week, I wouldn't be that concerned. Now, if it goes beyond that, that's when you have to start wondering, is there something wrong with the animal? Uh, did I just get it? Is it getting acclimated? Or was my animal eating a lot and then just stopped? So first thing is it could be an animal that hibernates. So if you have any of the European tortoises uh, or box turtles, those animals do go into a hibernation. So if you're living up north and the temperatures have cooled off, these animals know that and start to stop eating. Does that make sense? Sure does, start to stop eating. The other thing is that it could just be sick. Now, if it's sick, you're gonna wanna make sure you get your pet to a qualified reptile vet. I can't stress that enough. I know little tricks, but I don't feel safe to tell you guys all the tricks because it's more important that you get the animal to a qualified vet. Now, as far as the not drinking thing, there are a lot of false rumors about tortoises that come from desert areas like the sulcata here that you see. Uh, they say that they don't need water and that couldn't be further from the truth. You should always do soakings for your baby tortoises at least twice a week for 10 to 15 minutes or until the animal defecates inside of a little shallow water dish. You're also gonna wanna make sure there's always fresh clean water available for them. Now, if it's not drinking, it can't open its eyes, 
that is a clear indication that something is wrong with the animal. Anytime a tortoise is not opening its eyes, that's a problem. Go to a vet, go to a vet, go to a vet. And that's what we'll leave it at. So there's a couple of reasons why your animal may not be eating or drinking, but this one has no problems. We're gonna let him go and finish up this hibiscus. The next question I always get is, can I come down there and visit or can I volunteer? And this is a tough one. I wish I could have everybody come visit and help me out here at Camp Kennedy, but the fact is, is that my facility is at my home. And we have this thing in the grown-up world called insurance. And uh, well, insurance doesn't want me to operate as a public facility. So I have to respect the insurance because that's what keeps me in my home. And I also have to respect the law about not operating a public business here in a residential area. However, I do have really exciting news. I work closely with the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, which you guys have seen videos on the show. And we are gonna be doing a small section of Bush Wildlife that is a little Camp Kennan section. So what I'd recommend is if you're ever gonna be down in Jupiter, Florida, which is in South Florida, head on over to the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, visit them at bushwildlife.org and become a volunteer there because I'm always there, I always love to help out and hopefully we'll have a Camp Kennan that you can visit with some amazing rhino iguanas and different species of tortoises right there for the whole of the public to enjoy. That's coming soon. He's not a volunteer, I promise. It's my buddy Kyle, you may remember him from some of the crocodile videos. He's got a really cool facility just down the road. Now, the next question on the list is, Kenan, do you worry about predators? And absolutely I do. In my early days, I lost a lot of eggs to raccoons. They are smart, they're wily, and they can do a lot of damage to both the eggs and young tortoises. So what I've done is I've taken the best precautions I can to stop ground-based attacks, okay? So raccoons, they climb over the fence at night and they just have a smorgasbord with my tortoise eggs. So what I did is I put three electric wires up along the entire two and a half acres. So if a raccoon comes over, he's gonna get a little rude awakening. I don't like to kill any animals, but I sure don't mind shocking the heck out of some raccoons trying to feed off my little babies. The other thing you have to look out for are crows. Now they're tougher to combat. So the crows I just try and scare away, but you're gonna get some problems with eggs being eaten. The thing I recommend to you though, is to make sure if you have baby turtles or baby tortoises, that they live in a nice predator-proof enclosure. I've actually had baby tortoises in this one. Right now it's Solomon, my monkey tail skink, and obviously this keeps him here at Camp Kennan, but it also keeps him safe because he would be an easy picking for a really hungry hawk or a hungry raccoon. So my recommendation is for any animal, any baby tortoise, you wanna make sure you have a completely enclosed predator-proof habitat. So yeah, definitely worry about uh, my little guys getting eaten. So you just do the best you can. Now the final question made me and my family laugh because so many people think and ask me, am I rich? And I had to really think about that one. I'm definitely not rich in money, but I've been fortunate enough to have a fun job that did pay me well enough that I could afford this home. And I have to tell you, I am rich. I'm rich in spirit, I'm rich in ideas, and I'm rich because I get to spend my life with these animals. And here's the kicker, guys. Any one of you can do it too. It's just a matter of staying passionate about something you love, following through, and being okay with being poor if you're doing something you love. My dad once taught me, it's not about following the money, it's about following your passion and the money will find you. So, I'm not rich in money, but I am definitely the ruler of my tortoise and reptile kingdom. So that answers, hopefully, all your questions. But you know that I think of it, I'm sure you've got tons more. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. In the comment section below, why don't you ask questions, go nuts guys, because at the end of the season, we're gonna pick out the next top five questions based on the comment section below. Thanks so much for spending some time with me here at Camp Kennan. I really enjoy communicating with you all. So I'm gonna go up, survey my kingdom, and I'll be talking to you again soon. Stick around next week, another new video.
I'll see you later.